Well, before this pandemic, man, you actually previously won Lincoln's Charger Course competition. So how's that experience been for you so far? Dude, it's been, uh, it's hard to ex explain how incredible and exciting the whole, the whole experience has been. I, uh, you know, the story is, is pretty, uh, when I, when I tell it, I just, you know, I can't believe that it all happened the way that it did and that we're here today and that, you know, I mean, I'll start, start with the, the song, the song, every road I'm on. So chart your course is a songwriting competition that Lincoln, um, announced last at the, at the end of last summer. Mm -hmm. And, um, last summer I was on the road and I wrote this tune called every road I'm on, which was, inspired by our family's journeys and our family trying to be able to find our sanity while traveling and, and being away from our home and being on the road, being able to find our presence, you know, without getting too stressed out uh, about where we had to be or, you know, how it is when you're not present in your life and you're not able to experience what you're actually experiencing, you're caught up in your head. Yeah. So the, the, the tune was about, was about that. And it was, you know, just sort of, keeping keeping presence in your life and also just being reminded that no matter what happens no matter what road you're on no matter what tragedy you're going through that the blessings of life are your reaction to it and your ability to be present within that mm -hmm. so and so it was a simple song my family would sing on the road and it was written last summer a few months uh in in october of 2019 a few months after the song was written I was on my way to a concert in Minneapolis to play with Mata Shahu and this group called Wookie Foot. Mm -hmm. And uh, me and my wife were flying up there. I was going to play it um, with a group up in Minneapolis. And, and I saw this Instagram ad. And uh, man, I never really pay attention to the sponsored ads. And I, I, definitely, I definitely don't give much thought into it to competitions like songwriting competitions and things that you have to like, I don't know. I sort of got burnt. Yeah, I felt like over the competition thing after America's got talent yeah. and I just, I wasn't into that competition when I entered that one. And uh, I just never, I've never been one that was really gung ho about being judged <laughs> by people. You know what I mean? And like just that whole thing. So so, but this competition, man, and the, and the, the videos that they had really resonated with me. Um, it had a really deep vibe and, a, and it was filmed in a really cool way. Uh, they used like all like vintage film and like super eight stuff. And it was like, it had this kind of, you know, artist, like the true artist path and how like, it's sort of a mystical journey, you know, this, this, this artist way and to be able to write songs and. It had a very, um, I, I always say that it had a very hero's journey kind of vibe to it, you know, mm -hmm. of charting your course into the unknown and going out and just paving your own path, following your dreams. And it was really done well. And um, I looked at Cassie and like the, the instant I saw it, I read through, I went and read through the, uh, the rules and everything. And I and I just had this feel and I was like, man, we have to enter this competition. Um, I just, I knew it in my bones, man, that we were going to win this, at least a finalist spot. And I've, mm -hmm. I am, I'm, I'm a fairly confident person, but I've never known, like I've never had such a premonition or such a feeling of like sureness. And uh, I'm getting the notification that I was picked as a finalist. And I didn't realize what was about to happen in the rules of the final. When, when I first auditioned, it was just like um, the only thing that I knew that I was going to get was I was going to get a cash prize and I was going to get a chance to be in a commercial. Mm -hmm. um, but then when I got the phone call from, um, from the, uh, the ad agency and, and Lincoln, the, the people that built the competition, uh, they sort of, discuss what the plan was and they're like cast they're like we'd like to send a film crew to your house to tell your story about your song and your family and then we would like for you and, and your family to come to LA and go to the Grammys and some of this content is going to air during the during the uh the uh 
broadcast of, of the Grammy Awards. And I was like, you know, I, all of that information, I was like, holy, sh holy yeah. shit, man. Wow. Like, well, like <laughs> what a, this is, this is incredible, yeah. you know? Um, and the idea of the road trip was to, we started in LA, went to Austin in this new car that I won. And we met up with different um, individuals, mentors, actors, artists, musicians. And the idea was to tell my story um, firsthand with these people and get advice and see what they could bring to the table and offer me um, on, on my journey. And so one of the first, one of the first people we met up with in Austin was Matthew McConaughey. And it was, dude, you know, it was, it was like watching a movie while I was there talk, <laughs> having this conversation with him. I was like, I've watched so many of his movies that I was like, yeah. Yeah. I was like, and there's, and, it, and this, basically we met up, we met up at this really cool boutique hat shop in Austin, Texas. And he had me a hat made. And as they were making my hat, we sat down on the couch and we sort of just talked story and just, oh, nice. I told, I told him, you know, uh, about my family and about me trying to create balance with, you know, career and family. And we talked about that and all kinds of other good stuff. Mm -hmm. And it was incredible, man. It was, uh, that dude is every bit, the dude's got the mojo for sure. Oh, I mean, you know, you meet some people and you're like, huh. But with him, it was like, okay, totally get it. This yeah. dude, oh, man. this dude is the most self-directed. He's super brilliant, super smart. Uh, you know, meeting Matthew McConaughey must have been like the icing on the cake on top of everything, man. I would have, I mean, I've seen a lot of his movies and I, I would assume Surfer Dude that he was in is probably the closest to how he actually <laughs> like his real personality. I tell you what, man, I mean, he's got a very strong character and he, he's not quite as laid back as he's not quite as laid back as some of the, um, like what's the movie in Austin, one of his first hits. Uh, uh, I forgot what the, uh, Dazed and Confused, right? Okay. So he's, He's in Dazed and Confused, and in that, he's like, you're super cool, dude. And he is super cool, but you can tell that the dude the dude is legit. And I've gone through all your music, man, and you've had the your recent album, The Lessings and Blessings, which I saw that your barn mural was your inspiration for the cover art of that album. So why is that? Man, you know, um, our... our new sort of pursuit as like the family band and like sort of bringing all these fragments and pieces together and trying attempting to have this sort of holistic therapeutic approach to a music career and a family started with uh the album more music more family and that was like that was sort of like my prayer you know mm -hmm. more music more family was like my life was I was suffering in all kinds of ways. Uh, I had lost my voice. I was extremely unhealthy. I was pre-diabetic, pre-hypertension, very, you know, things were out of whack. Yeah. And a lot of that had to do with me making decisions based in fear versus inspired decisions. Meaning I was pursuing my career but I was taking any opportunity that would come regardless of whether or not it inspired me, whether or not I wanted to do it. So more music, more family was sort of when, you know, we well, can call it God, you can call it the universe, you can call it whatever, but I was taken out of the game. And I think it was a compound of, of I had a skiing accident, but it was also stress and emotional issues from being away from the family and seeing my family suffer and 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 all of that just sort of you know luckily I was faced with a situation where I could no longer go out on the road so it made me reflect on everything and you know lessons and blessings after more music more family you know we that was the beginning of us trying to create this new um process in which we pursue our career and our family life mm -hmm. and the barn mural was a painting that we did together you know we we painted that together as a family and it was one of our first sort of family creations and, and our whole place 
our whole little, you know, uh, farm has been created by all of us. And it was sort of just, uh, um, just a cool, just a cool sort of, uh, symbol of that, of that, you know, that, that this whole little farm is a creation that we've all put our time and energy in together. And that's a special thing. And we're going to try to continue to do that, you know, as, as for as long as we can of just collaborating together creatively and, 